When I was really ill, my aunt told me some of the best advice I've ever gotten in regards to my Crohn's disease, which is you are your best advocate. Inflammatory bowel disease affects 1.4 million Americans and is comprised of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Importantly, the prevalence of inflammatory bowel disease is several fold higher in Ashkenazi Jewish individuals. Symptoms can include abdominal pain, diarrhea, rectal bleeding, and in children, growth delay. I do think there is a genetic component, obviously. I mean, both my parents are affected, I am as well. Consideration of family history is important. If one family member has inflammatory bowel disease, the risk of another family member also developing inflammatory bowel disease is increased five to 15 fold over the general population. However, it's important to recognize that genetics alone is not determinative. The role of environmental as well as developmental factors is also important in the overall risk for developing IBD. It's the immune system attacking the digestive system. We don't know why, we don't know what triggers it, and sometimes we don't know how to turn that improper immune response off. If you suspect you or a family member have IBD, you should consult a healthcare professional because effective medications and treatments exist. It's up to you to advocate for yourself and talk to your doctor, get a second opinion, talk to your family, do research, find out as much as you can because it's your life and it's your body and you're responsible for taking care of yourself and making yourself the happiest and healthiest that you can be. For more information about this topic, including a webinar and supplemental written material and resources, please visit www.genesites.com.